Hello everyone, I'm Greatlock, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 259 of Factorio with Angels and Bob's Mods, where we are working a little bit on spider farming, which requires some puffer and meat farming, which, and well, the spider farming also requires some more nutrient pulp, which we are trying to improve, and then I just remembered that we were doing some garden farming over here, which I wanted to scale up a little bit more to get plant life samples for research and stuff. So let's go back and grab some farms for that. You might just need farms in general as well. We do need plant life samples for the good farms though. We have desert farms. I don't want those. Maybe we should just start with basic farms. It's better than nothing. Hmm. How come this is all beacon up, but this down here is not? I'm not sure. Don't do it. Well, it was enough. We have some uh, robots migrating now. Still a little bit low on the plant life samples, that's okay, that should be able to keep up soon. Speed, let's just keep an eye on our power while doing all this. We are starting to use more. Still the plant life samples. Oh, let's leave this for a little while again and continue to focus on our nutrient pulp and stuff. So we're creating a bunch of nutrient pulp up there. We will produce it here as well, if possible. It's just beans and corn. And fruit. And hips. Still just cellular fiber. Can we use this for anything else? Uh, cellulose fiber. Nope. Okay. Now we had a mud problem. Is that still the case? 
Yes, it is. Are there any of the outputs that we actually have enough of? Roots seem to be building up a little bit now. And cellulose fiber, of course. Hips is something we are not even exporting, so that's definitely something we should always use everything we can of. Mm. Make pips here, right? I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. Here. Yes. We're gonna consume them. And that's all well and good. Let's focus on mud banks, shall we? We need some water fill. Have we gotten rid of some of that at some point, maybe? No. So how are we doing this? So we need water all the way below, it's just the one. I am glad as much water, okay. Let's just go big, shall we? Hopefully we don't need to fix anything with these blueprints. Hmm, water fill, yeah. That's a double of how much we produce. Need to grab a bunch of stuff. Need to produce a bunch of stuff. We don't have a train here. Where's my plane over here? Are we doing okay with robots? Yes. Seafloor pumps, and then that should be it. Uh, do we have enough of these? It seems like it. Seafloor pump. Yes, please. I really shouldn't leave my plane too far behind. Is it all working? Looks like it. Okay. Any more is not supposed to go out here, that's fine. Do we need to also just duplicate it upwards? Then we need to remove some of this, but that's okay, I guess. Mm. Or do we trust that this is enough? We can also just build out further. We don't need the robots for anything, as long as we can have everything on the belts. And that's all doing fine still. Oh, 
we're doing a little bit better on the one. Yes, we actually have extra. So we can start scaling some of the farming if we like to. How are we doing up here? Still not enough crab labs in this. And we have 36, 38 gardens available. Incredible. I'm not sure why I'm so hesitant to scale anything. Do we have swamp uh, or swamp farms available? Five. Just five, okay. We want I guess we should scale more spectators because we need them for the alien stuff as well. This is a nice one. Outputs, one slot each. We should be able to use all of the mustard potato for this stuff. And if not, we scale. We will not have several tiers of bioprocessors. Just to check, we can put in productivity. No. Maybe it's time that I actually looked into farming modules. Uh, agriculture modules, sorry. Higher yields. Maybe that's something we need to do when we get some plant life samples from our garden farming. We need shots for the tier 2 and the full prisons for tier 3. Mm. We really not have any more bioprocessors. I guess not, but let's get some of those. And then we scale the mashed potato and then we maybe scale something else as well. Let's start with that. We well, want to get rid of this chest right.
this will probably be easier with the great thing, but we'll Do we need even more of this processing thing? It should be the only thing we use the most retiers for it. Right? Currently we have 1.3k. This area just doesn't look like anything I had imagined it would look like. I thought we would have to have rows and rows of, well, the farms themselves. But it's so much more processing than that. gain anything by moving this up. Man, we should just have a look at that later. 3.7k, 3.9k. Okay. Okay, so we have a lot of pips now. We need to increase the nutrient of production from that. I guess we actually need more robots, is that correct? Yep. Very correct. Let's grab some tier 4. want to make sure that we don't start stockpiling any of the products just because we can't move it down here fast enough but fruits do seem to be starting to bag up oh I should also oh, we did get some beacons well, that should be enough processing for the mushroom potatoes If we can get some more swarm farms, then that would be nice. We can just do it here, it's just half speed. Not sure I want to do that. When we really should be getting enough plant life samples soon. We actually have some available. No, it was just only being taken slowly. Ooh. Seconds. 
still. At 80, so we can scale these up. Should have taken all of the farms, gardens, dang it. We are at 11 and zero, it seems. Okay. Robots are doing good. We just need more plant life samples. Start taking those out now, it slows down this scaling for us to get even more plant life samples. Just wondering if we should keep scaling this up, maybe. Worst case, we use all of the gardens for plant life samples, and then we take this one garden that I have reserved for an emergency, and then we just greed on that. We need to let that be for a little bit. So we have too much mustard tape to... no. We have too many pips, fruits and alien bacteria. Alien bacteria is good for us. For sure. Yep. So we just need to take care of the rest. This is not producing fast enough. If only a guy could have had the tier 4 substations before he started to use them. So, do we actually need to use the zombie eucalyptus for beans? Or can we up the compost production? It 
Oh yeah, the compost is also used for soil up here somewhere. But we have so much soil already. As long as the backs up, when it requires less soil, or compost, sorry. Is there anything we have an abundance of other than the white stuff? Can we actually make that into compost, maybe? Uh. Is the recipe not in here? Yes, we can. How about we started using? Oh, it's far away, apparently. But some of this has that spec up. Sure thing. Let's just go 200. Feels pretty good. Please connect. You, you need to be there then. Yeah, I'm confused. No, those are aligned, that is aligned. Why does it not look like these for the left though. Oh, maybe it does. I'm just blind as usual. Yes, okay. That's all good. Small improvements all the time, please. Not sure if they can really be there, but now we're trying it. And we are working on this compost. Hopefully, we are producing enough now. But there's no reason not to scale this up, I guess. As long as we have the composters. We should still have 20 in there, but it. Where's my plane? Here. We need more nutrient extractors. Let's grab some of those. Yes, please.
Why does it feel like I have a bunch of junk? We need to put some stuff in the chest. Let's leave it at that. Look, we are producing a bunch of more potatoes, those being processed, and that is then extracted. This ain't back to grow behavior because we don't have enough fruits in the system. I guess we had a train coming for all of this, no. Not really. Mm. So we still need a lot more of everything, basically. I just want the better farms first, please. I need my garden farm to be where we need it to be. I have 16 extra gardens. And these are still not running full speed because of the hand lab samples. So I guess we need to expand even more. We have a ton of this stuff, it seems. 125,000, yeah. Still some not running. So for sure we should use all of that for compost instead of zombie eucalyptus. And then use zombie eucalyptus for beans. We have 3,300 of that now actually. We have extra compost, yes, so we have enough production. But we need to increase this. We have a good. 
good amount of beans now. Of fruits, sorry. Five thousands, basically. And at that point, these are allowed to input. stuff actually. Our potatoes are under control, our wheat is under control. Maybe we don't need 5,000 beans for these to work though. speeds anything up, but it might prevent any chests from getting backed up and stopping production for that one machine without puts into that chest. You never know, because a thousand beans in here, or well, five thousand beans is not possible. Does mean that we we'll focus on exporting it. It is just going to puffer farming though. And we have quite a lot. But I'm not gonna say that it's bad to put more up there, I guess. Maybe that balances it a little bit, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter too much. Are we doing on mud? We are low, it seems. I sort of want to redo all of this. Maybe it's just that it's not the prettiest setup ever. I just want all of my farms to be together, and then all of the processing, and then all of the nutrient pulp. But it's really not a problem. Extract gardens, it seems. Still missing plant life samples. Mm, well, we need this to just be allowed to run for a while. We can scale it up, I guess. We don't need that to be enough all of these chests. I just don't want to risk it running out of well, gardens. And a lot of speed beacons. Speed, much less, sorry.
these output two farms every time. So as long as one third of the processes are going back in, no, half of them, I guess, then it's okay. So we can't have more than what we should have the same amount of chests requesting them per year. Otherwise, we might run out. That is only as long as these requests or chests up here are not filled up already, of course. As they sometimes will be. Still have so much of this stuff. I am gonna remove this. I really should pick up the insurance first instead of the chests. I'm gonna expand this. actually being used. But we have plenty of zombie to support. Mud is a problem. So I guess we do need to expand mud again. Again again. The pipe is actually somewhat full up here now. And we actually have just filled the tree. I guess we only have this one waiting now then probably. It's not like it's a problem with the pressure up here, is it? No. Well, they should be allowed to run. And it is growing now. Hmm. If only I could say that more mud would solve everything. Then I would be happy. It can't do, but we should do it anyway. Where's my plane? I guess I left it all the way on top. These have actually run out of gardens yet. That's good news at least. And I probably need more water fill. Yep. Good thing that the robots are fusion powered.
apparently we need a lot of stuff for that. And we are going a lot over time right now, but I want to finish this. So, underground bits. Washing plants, more valves. Underground fire, clarifier. We have clarifiers, yeah. Underground pipe as well. The signal is somewhat else. Okay. How are we doing on robots now? Just fine. Good. We didn't take the washing plants because I'm stupid. Now we might end up with a filled side of the build. Or maybe not. Oh, that's good. Yeah, they actually have a problem getting rid of the pressure. Who would have thought? Do we have extra space for more pipes going down? This is not used for anything, so that could be a new field Sure thing. it until it is full down here at least. What about we fill from that end with that one pipe? How is that working out? Pretty good, but maybe that's just because there's a train at the station. So the pressure is not rising in general and we still have a problem. So we need another pipe basically. We don't have the space necessarily for that though. Stop that one there this time. And we connect that to there for safety. Then we have no problems in problem. Good. Progress is made. How about with gardens? Too much zombie equipment to now though, so we can scale this part up. Yes, please.
I think we did quite a lot for the nutrient probe. Maybe we should just continue doing it though, but... With the experience from this, I sort of feel like I want to just do it over. Maybe that's stupid. It's only really because I want to make more nutrient pulp. Everything else is still gonna be annoying, I guess. Well, it's still, still take up space, so maybe it's not gonna be that pretty anyway. Mm, oh well. This really just needs time. Then it should be awesome. Looks like these farms are running most of the time at the moment, so that much is good. And we steal a little bit of plant life sample. How much do we need for the farms? Temperate. We need temperate environment to five up okay. It's easy to just deal with them here, I think. We just need to remember that each five of this that we steal. No, sorry, each 30 we steal is one garden. Okay. No problem then. Let's get some more temperate gardens for faster. Uh, well, garden farming, mainly. At least to let it scale. This is temperate, no desert. Temperate. Yes. Go in there. Agriculture modules. It's also something we should really look into here. These, at least. They're easy to make. They just need plant life samples, and then we get more productivity. More pollution as well, true, but still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye.